Vice-Chancellor, Professor Rensburg, the former Dean, Professor Rory Ryan, who's been a steadfast supporter and champion of Lily Hill and Joe's lecture series, the Acting Dean, Professor Joel, colleagues, students, members of the public, and I see some friends as well. I'm honoured to deliver the Helen Joseph Memorial Lecture this evening on a topic I believe Helen would have approved of as she was an unwavering advocate of social rights, welfare rights, gender justice, and a more equitable and democratic society. The CSDA recently conducted research of voting behaviour um, of grant beneficiaries in Duran Cop in Soweto and Rivoli, uh, and Rivoli on our doorstep. Both areas have high grant uptake, but are different in terms of population groups, Rivoli having 50% uh, more so-called coloured people and party preferences. In the local government elections in 2011, the ANC received 90% of the vote in Dorenkop, while 40% 7% supported the ANC in Rivoli. We interviewed 800 respondents and the interviews were conducted in June of this year. Now, although many respondents knew their rights, which was interesting, half of the total number of respondents that we interviewed in both these communities, um, a significant proportion, 27% thought that they would lose their grant if another political party came to power. And 10% thought that it was a possibility. So grant beneficiaries held this view more so than non-beneficiaries. We do not know if the numbers may be higher in rural areas. This result suggests that there is need for voter education on this issue. Regarding the view that grant receipt gave the ANC an electoral edge over other parties, there was no evidence to support this claim at this stage. It may change as beneficiaries were of the view that grants are likely to influence their voting preferences. There is some evidence that voters are basing their choices on rational decisions, motivated by their personal interests, but no relationship was found to exist between being a grant beneficiary and identifying with a political party. And that's very interesting. Respondents also did not think that grants were a form of bribery. Similarly, two-thirds of all respondents held the view, and I think this is very interesting for people from the Department of Social Development. So we asked the beneficiaries, um, uh, the respondents, whether they thought that handing out food parcels before an election amounted to vote buying. And the majority of beneficiaries were of the opinion that grants help poor people, help <coughs> poor people. When asked, the question was, if an election, if an election were held tomorrow, which party do you think you would vote for? A total of 56% said they would vote for the ANC, 19% for the DA, and 8% for other parties. Despite the compelling evidence on the impacts of grants and of its role in creating a national social protection floor for all citizens guaranteed as a right by our constitution, disapproving views persist about the role of social grants in our society. Beneficiaries are not credited with rational decision-making powers and an ability to make rational choices about their lives. And neither are they perceived to be active citizens with rights and duties. These representations of grant beneficiaries quite unknowingly amount to an attack on beneficiaries and poor people, blaming them for their misfortune. <laughs> 